not hard to be different if you're yourself. There's only one you. And ain't nobody gonna duplicate you. Ever. You were made for a specific reason that sounds really cliche. There's a reason you were put on the planet. If you were not here, if your family had gotten rid of you, I'll just say it like that. If you were in a trash can somewhere, the world might be missing the cure for cancer. The world could be missing the story that breaks, that solves the world's ills of you know, corruption in the government. There's a reason that you're here. So we talked about the vision. We talked about getting rid of the money question. We talked about how you can have passion. And then you got to have a little conviction. So everybody wrote down their passion, right? Everybody wrote down what they're passionate about. These people who are listening with inside my voice. I want you to write down something else now. I want you to write down what you wanted to be when you grew up when you were between the ages of 8 and 12. How many of you guys remember that? <laughs> Write down what you wanted to be between the ages of 8 and 12. So the first one is your passion. The second one is when I grow up, I want to be when I grow up. When I was 12, I was watching TV in my living room. I grew up in this area, and KCRA was on. And at the time, I didn't know the difference between call letters or cities. I, I just knew it was on NBC, because KCRA is on the NBC station. So I said, Mom, I don't ever want to do news. But if I ever do, I'm going to work for them. A little more than 10 years later, I was working at KCRA. And I believe that every child, I'm going to write a book about it. I already got a couple of people. I'm going to have them write a chapter. Every child between the ages of 8 and 12 tells a parent, tells somebody what they are called to do in their life, but we usually ignore it, sweep it aside, and think, oh, yeah, you're, yeah that's so cute. She says she's going to be a that. You know. Oh, well, you know, I'm going to be a doctor, Mommy. Okay, well, isn't that special? <laughs> My mom didn't say anything when I said that. She smiled. And she always thought, oh, you're going to be Miss America. I didn't know it. You know, every time some girl like one look like me, that could be you, that's going to be you. <laughs> I was like, okay, mom, yeah. But um, I wasn't Miss America. <laughs> I was on KCRA because of my words. Because of my words. And my mom always supported my words. Always, always, always. I need somebody who's a poet. <coughs> 